A hug? That's long overdue. As this Papillion family reunites for the first time in eight months. Come over and give Margaret a hug. <laughs> no. And all across the state, families separated by the coronavirus are finally reuniting. The emotion came out. There was a lot of smiles, a lot of cries, you know, a lot of hugging, a lot of just I love yous. So it was definitely a um, very overwhelming, joyous reunion. Oh my goodness, it's so good to hug you. Look out. Oh, that's the so fun! <laughs> Honey, Mama! Oh. Can you believe this? No! Okay, okay! Hi, Susie! For Susie Lopez, a resident here at Morningside Ministries, this was a day she'd been waiting for. I didn't know it was her! <laughs> that's a big surprise for me. 87-year-old Ivy Hazelgrove, who overcame COVID-19 last May, embracing her daughter-in-law and grandson for the first time since the pandemic began. Hey, Dad, how you doing? I'm gonna sneak a hug. Mm -mm -mm. I sure I missed you, Dad. As nursing homes around the state open back up, reunions just like this one are made possible. Father and son, distance for so long, able to once again share simple moments, minutes, seconds, once overlooked, time to catch up on things missed, a family reunion of sorts, and share a room with someone, share that touch with someone you love the most.